United States Soccer shared on its social media a picture of the Iranian flag without its national emblem, which is a symbol of its religious faith. They shared it for 24 hours, saying that it was supposed to support protesters who are going against government corruption, but, but they won't say who authorized it, they won't say who was part of it, and the American players and coach did a nice job of sidestepping the controversy. But it's still there, that this flag is this idea that they removed the Islamic elements of it, that in the, in the middle emblem of the Iranian flag, this is just the colors, the actual emblem is four curves and a sword in the middle, which according to the nation of Iran's government, is the statement of Islamic faith, there is no God but Allah. And there are 22 sim, uh, sayings on the top and bottom of that flag, that is Allah Akbar, God is great. Now, as an American Lutheran pastor, you may wonder why I'm commenting on a Muslim faith flag, but I'm doing it to highlight something. That, that any government that preaches tolerance hates religion. Any government that says it's okay to do this, I mean, look what China is doing in its governments and Iran and other places, right? They will tolerate religion to a point. And here we are in America with a place that says it has freedom of religion, but we're trying to suppress another nation's religion. Yes, I'm, I'm not Muslim, I'm not supporting Muslim faith, I'm highlighting something. That they'll preach tolerance all day long, but ultimately their goal is to get rid of faith, isn't it? Even if it's Muslim or Christian. Psalm 3. You are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. In this world where religion is under attack, regardless of the religion that you believe, in this world where God's word and its teachings are being suppressed, you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on my head. We don't trust in princes and mortal men who can't save. We don't trust in governments or supreme courts or anything like that, that, oh yeah, they're going to keep us safe. We trust in the Lord. Sometimes we'll have our freedoms taken away. We'll have our privileges taken away. We'll have our nation do something anti-religious to another's nation. You go, what is this? You bestow glory on my head. You provide for me, O oh God. I, I trust in no one else but you. And you'll take care of me each and every day.